You ever play a game that reinvigorates your entire interest in a subset of games or a genre? I'm talking about playing something like the newest version of Madden and having a sudden interest in like NHL or 2K. Well, back in early January, I finished a game that did just that with my interest in indie gaming as a whole. It took me a while to notice it, but I've been playing a lot of indie games this year and I was wondering where that started from, and yeah, it all links back to Hades. Hades was so good that after finishing it, I picked up Eastward, Blasphemous, Wargroove, Loop Hero, Little Witch in the Woods, my plate is full of indie games for the foreseeable future. I'll definitely post a video on Eastward soon, that game in particular is quite the gem. Anyway, the real question here is what exactly makes Hades so good? If you don't know, I'll explain shortly, but Hades is a top-down action RPG roguelike. A little bit of word soup, but basically you're fighting your way out of a dungeon, and if you die, you have to start all over again. Hades shows its brilliance really early, as one issue roguelikes sometimes have is that you're simply banging your head against a wall until you can slowly level up and just out-survive an encounter. Hades mixes this up by forcing you to pick up random upgrades through an escape attempt, so you're always on your toes trying to build something that'll work, rather than just having more HP every time. Although the persistent upgrades are still there, they aren't the only option, which some roguelikes feel like they're guilty of, at least the ones I've played. Another great part about the game is the length of the escapes are perfect. I don't see enough people talk about that fact. A full escape will take about 15 to 25 minutes depending on the upgrades you got along the way and the progress you made leveling up. This short length that makes the death feel like it's not very punishing because it's so quick to get back to where you were. It makes experimentation with different weapons in the game inviting instead of having a single favorite or being afraid to try something new. It makes trying different builds throughout the upgrades uh, really enjoyable because you can do that really quickly and your builds grow really fast. All because the game is just expertly tuned to that short cycle, which all feeds back into the roguelike structure. Obviously there's a lot more to be said about the game, but I want to keep these videos pretty short. Hades has been so far this year amongst my favorite games I've played. The only thing I can think of that occurs is probably God of War Ragnarok. Look out for a video for that soon. Hades earns an easy 5 out of 5 if I was to give it a number. And I know it's still early in the year, but yeah, that's all for now. What were some of your favorite parts about Hades? Leave a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe if you want more of this short form review content.